this video explains how to import your student information into CHARMS. The CHARMS Student Import Wizard guides you through the process of importing your student information into CHARMS. The process involves several different procedures which we'll cover in this video. First, you'll need to make sure that you have your student group set up in CHARMS. Next, you'll need to download the CHARMS Student Template. This file is a spreadsheet to help you put your student information in the right order to import into CHARMS. You must use this file for the import. Once you have downloaded the template, you'll work with that file in Excel to prepare your information. When the information is ready to import, you'll return to the Student Import Wizard screen in CHARMS. There, you will upload the Excel file, review the data, and finalize the import. Now that you understand the process, let's look at each procedure. If you haven't already done so, you need to set up at least one of your student groups in CHARMS. To get to the Setup Groups screen, first click on the Setup icon at the top of the screen. Select the Groups black tab. Select Setup Groups from the drop-down list. You may create as many groups as you need by performance group, section, chair, or even hair color if you like. Simply enter the group name and select Create New Group. Repeat until you have entered the groups you need. You can create more later as the need arises. The list at the bottom shows the groups you have entered so far. You can click on the pencil icon to edit the group name or the red X to delete it. Next, you'll need to go to the Student Import Wizard screen to download the template file for your student information. To get to the screen, first click on the Students icon at the top of the screen. Select the Import Export black tab. Select Import Wizard from the list. Click on the Download Template button to save the CHARMS template to your computer. Your browser will ask whether you want to open or save the file. You should save the file before opening it. Make sure that you don't change the name of the file when you save it. Let's take a quick look at that Excel file. The file consists only of column headers at the top for all of the information that CHARMS stores for your students. The text in red indicates the columns that are required information for your import. In this case, ID, first, and last name. All other columns are optional. Next to each column header is information about the number of characters you can include or what type of data is required for that column. For example, you can include up to 50 characters for the student's first names. If the column shows the number sign, you must enter a number. You'll need to get your student information into this file. If you have student information in a database file already, an easy way to do this is to view both your student file and the CHARM student template file side by side. You can size each file to take half of your screen like this example. Copy your information into the CHARMS template one column at a time to get the information in the right order. Make sure that you don't paste the information over the column header in the CHARMS student template file. If you don't have an existing database of student information to copy, just enter the student ID numbers and the first and last names. Your members will be able to log in later to update most of the rest of the student information. Also note that you can upload some students now and others later, but make sure you start with an empty template next time. Otherwise, CHARMS will attempt to upload people who are already in your account, which will cause problems. Remember that the red columns are required information for importing the student information into CHARMS. Make sure your student ID numbers are at least six alphanumeric characters. Sequential numbers are not recommended. Though we recommend using the official school district ID number, you can use either the school ID number itself or a different number you assign to the student. If you want to use non-school ID numbers, we suggest using random numbers with at least six digits. This ID number starts off being the password into the student-specific area of the parent-student side of CHARMS. Since students or parents have the ability to change the password, don't worry about the fact that a random ID number is hard to memorize. Let's discuss the optional columns in the template. Include the grade level information if you know it. If not, you can use the CHARMS global screens later to assign members to grade levels. You should also include the part information, but make sure it's in the right format so that there are no errors with the import. The part one and part two data must be imported as the CHARMS code numbers and not as the instrument or part names. You can find these code numbers on Sheet 2 of the CHARM student template file. For each part name, find the code on the Partless Codes tab and change it to the code for the import. A simple way to change the names to the codes 
is to perform a Find and Replace in Excel. Open the Find and Replace dialog box and enter the instrument name as the Find Text. Enter the instrument code as the Replace Text. Then select Replace All. Repeat this for each of your parts until all of the text has been replaced with the appropriate codes. Then you can paste it into the student template file. Again, you can use the CHARMS global screens to assign parts to members later if necessary. The columns labeled Field 1, Field 2, Field 3, and Field 4 refer to fields that you define in CHARMS through any student information screen. You can update the titles in CHARMS after you import the student information. Don't change the column headers in Excel. For the date of birth columns, use a number code for the month and a four-digit number for the year. When the CHARM student template file is ready, make sure to save it with the original file name. If you change the file name, CHARMS will not be able to import it. Save the file as an Excel 97 to 2003 type and remember where you saved it. Next, you'll need to return to the Student Import Wizard screen to upload the file. Select the Browse button. Navigate to the location of the CHARM student template file that you saved. Select Open. Select Upload File. On the next screen, you can review the information that will be uploaded to CHARMS. If you have any red text or errors, you'll need to go back to the Excel file to correct the errors and resave the file overriding the old version. Then return to the Import Student File Wizard screen and upload the file again. If you have any lines below the last name on your list that say Required, you have spaces or other characters in the lines below your last name in the file. Reopen the file in Excel and delete the lines directly below your last name, even though they appear to be blank. Resave the file and return to the Import Student Information File screen and re-upload the file. When the data is ready to import, scroll to the bottom of the screen and select Validate Data. This process can take some time if you have a large number of students. Do not click the Validate button twice. Wait for it to finish. On the next screen, you may need to review issues with the import. If so, fix the Excel file, resave, and try again. If all is well, the screen will say your data has been validated. Select Import Student Data to do the final entry. Congratulations! You've imported your student information. The last screen includes links to the student screens where you can assign students to grades or groups and other student-related tasks. Note that you cannot replace or overwrite this data by re-importing it. Any changes will need to be made from within the CHARM system on the individual student screens. However, you can import additional students at any time by repeating the process with new information, starting with an empty template. Be sure to check out our library of videos for help with other CHARMS Office procedures.